Hey, aloha, this is Shane. We're here at the uh, world famous Pawela Cannery on the North Shore of Maui near Haiku. This is where my studio is. And I thought I would start a uh, video podcast uh, from the studio. So we're going to start this one with a studio tour. I'm going to try and keep, I'm going to try and keep these to three minutes. Uh, I'll turn this around actually so you can see the inside. Here is the, one of the hallways at the studio. This was built in 1901. It used to be an old pineapple cannery. I'm here in unit 24. So when I open the door here, there's gonna be a lot of wind. Not too bad. So I have about 2,300 feet, square feet, over three floors. So this first little space here, uh, we currently just use for storage. It's a nice hardwood floor and just has uh, parts of stuff that we're storing. We go up to the second flight of stairs into the main floor, second floor. And let's do my studio first. So turning to the right, got about a 600 square foot space here and uh, just chalkboard paint that I painted on the wall and all my various paints and microwave and fridge. That fan does not have a motor on it. This is how much air is actually moving through the studio. <laughs> this fan just runs on its own. And you'll see where all that air is coming from. So this is my space. Nice high ceilings. I also I have a wide angle lens on here, so you're seeing, uh, hopefully able to see more. Just some large four foot by eight foot tables that I've built. Some works in progress. Lots of little works in progress. Lots of works in progress. One of the nice things about the space is it looks out over the gorge, basically North Shore Rainforest, and has a nice ocean view down there. But yeah, it's a wonderful space. Love this space. So, coming out of my studio, the door to the steps is right here. That's where we just came up. Immediately to the right of the door from the steps is a small room that I use as my wood room. So all of my materials for building wood panels are in here, my chop saw. That's pretty much all I do in here. The next room that we call the yellow room, we call the rooms by their original colors. We've painted and really, really cleaned up this place. The next room is the yellow room because it has a door. I uh, use it as my table saw room for cutting up my panels or parts for my panels. Next room is the blue room. And right now it's just currently being used for storage. It's hard to tell, but each of these rooms are about, um, well, this one is about 12 feet wide, 10 to 11 feet wide by 16 feet long. Next is the, what we call the dark room. And this was originally set up, I was going to set this up as my resin room. Uh, this big long black table was in here and it's relatively cut off. It doesn't have uh, any windows but I still had a lot of problem with dust in here. So I'm thinking of moving my resin room to what we call the green room. This room used to be painted bright green pink, or bright green paint, and we painted it also. Uh, and I'm thinking of building a tent in here. Let me back this off a little bit. Building a tent in here over all of this, and uh, this is my, uh, would be my new resin room. Also, it's nice to have these lights on the side. This used to be a uh, surfboard painting room uh, there's actually a whole big exhaust fan system behind here that leads up to the roof. Um, but I don't necessarily need that for the resin. But it's a nice big space. There's some table tops over there. So those are the four. One, two, three, four along that wall. And then fifth room here. And then... Go up, uh, we have a little storage room off to the side here. Where I just have tools and screws and that type of thing. And then we also have what we call the loft. Another whole space upstairs that currently isn't being used. Uh, this is the roof of the building and it gets very, very hot in the summer. So we haven't actually used, uh, figured out a use for the loft yet. But it's also a nice, very nice big space. And like I said, this is an old pineapple cannery. And I'm not sure if this was an elevator or some kind of granary or something, but right now it's just a one-way trip down to the ground. So there's 
places in the places in the roof where it's completely open, like right up here and all along this ridge line, it's open. And so the wind just whips up the roof and then downstairs and goes out where that fan was originally. So like I said, it's a 110 year old building and uh, it's a very interesting and eclectic mix of people that are here. And this other little room, currently the idea is to use this as a photography room. So I'd be able to uh, um, set up lights in here and shoot, hang uh, artwork on this wall and, con and control the light in here better than any, in any other space. So that is my studio. Currently, I have the entire place to myself, but we are considering um, renting out a couple of the rooms to a couple of friends that are looking for space. Um, but until then, I have the luxury of having this entire space to myself. So that's it. I know I went longer than three minutes, uh, but the plan is to hopefully keep these uh, studio logs or studio blogs to uh, uh, around three minutes or so. Just a day, not a daily, but maybe a weekly or multi-weekly update on what I'm doing in the studio, what I'm working on, maybe some of the problems that I'm having or challenges that I'm facing in order to kind of help me um, uh, just get into blogging more and use the media that we used to use quite a bit, starting back in 2004 when I was podcasting, um, a little more uh, often, and to help me reach out and make connections with other artists and galleries and other people that are interested in the artistic and creative process. So that's it from now from the studio, and uh, aloha, we'll talk to you later, bye.